I wanted to come to T3G because education is really important to me, education and GIS. And I thought, what an amazing um, opportunity to be in a room full of people working on GIS education. And I'm assured of learning amazingly new things, you know, kind of thinking outside the box, things I'd not thought about before with this band of diverse people who are here. I thought it was going to be, you know, maybe I would be the only one who wasn't a K-12 teacher or something like that. But in fact, it's just anyone who's involved in any kind of GIS education. So uh, it's the depth and breadth of experiences and background and awareness of GIS has been really huge, surprisingly. One of the high points of the day is what we start off in the morning with Geo News and what a, a perfect way to start any kind of class because it really gets people hyped up and if they have no awareness of GIS they're totally hooked I think with that sort of introduction. Yeah perhaps the most unique thing about T3G has been the amount of hands-on training we've had. I would say 80 percent to 90 percent of this has been about us using and learning the tool and then figuring out how to translate it into best practice for us. Just how simple it's going to be when I go back to my divisions to have teachers using GIS without knowing a lot of GIS. What I like so much about the training is that there's a nice combination of new techniques that I hadn't really known about or um, particularly things with 3D analysts um, that I hadn't experienced before and then opportunities to try those things out on my own um, and go through some activities. So I'm, I'm building my own skill set and also thinking about ways to translate that out to students and community members that, is a, um, that will be approachable. Yeah, I have not used GIS in quite some time uh, since college and coming to this has made me realize how valuable it is in teaching geography and that it needs to be used. And everybody has been so helpful and I think that that has put me at ease. Usually you go to a training or a professional development session and you are sitting and you're getting and that's all you get to do. And here you have the computers, you have the technology, you can go back and forth between different systems um, and it just makes it that much more valuable and you learn so much more. And then also getting out of the classroom, uh, let me say that was great because you, you get to use what you're learning and then go and apply it and bring it back and actually make a project from it. And that's not always seen in professional development sessions. Going through all of the different types of lessons and skills, um, it's, it's been a wealth of information that I know I will be able to use immediately when I get home. I'm just learning so much in the class itself and in informal meetings in between classes and even over dinner. I'm just in constant input mode here. Their ideas and their creativity just can't help but to rub off on you. We have all disciplinary levels from um, K to 12 to university level uh, professors who are um, helping students and they've given me a lot of feedback about how to approach uh, other teachers. For instance, teachers will take a look at GIS and go, you know, I don't have time for that. And if I show them that, okay, all you need to do is a little bit of work, you know, just understand a little bit and then just inch your way towards more GIS, it would solve itself. It brings together teaching geospatial people. We all have the same kind of, of uh, exciting things to share. We have uh, uh, common experiences, common shared experiences, and, and we have uh, uh, those, that passion for, the, for GIS technology as well as the teaching uh, passion as well. It's just been a joy. Now I've got 24 or 25 new colleagues that I can email ideas back and forth with, share lessons with, share common experiences with, uh, and, and I think these will be professional career buddies for a long time to come.